Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly forex forecast. This is me Hamza from ProTradersNetwork.com and in this video we are looking at uh, forex majors and we will be discussing um, the possible market scenario that can happen in coming week. So first of all we are on the 4 hour chart of Euro USD. So here we, we can see that the current momentum is toward the downside. So we are only looking for the short side or selling opportunities. If we go to the daily time frame, we can clearly see that market is bouncing, bouncing hardly, hardly toward the downside, moving hardly toward the downside from this resistance area, which is right around 1.2269 area. So it is it start moving toward the downside and uh, break below the a zone of 1.1946 area and now continuing its downside momentum toward uh, the downside so uh, the target current target toward the downside will be 1.1730 let me just add a uh, line there so this would be the uh, downside target uh, we will be seeing market moving toward this area uh, in coming days so uh, let's discuss the possible trading opportunities there that can actually uh, benefit us so here we are on the four hour chart so we can see that there are two uh, a selling zone or the resistance on the one zone is this which is uh, uh, right around 1.1950 and the second zone is this area this red zone area uh, which is around uh, let me show you the exact price uh, yes, yes so the second area is 1.1860 uh, 1 area so uh, we can see this possible scenario that market move toward this area and uh, um, continue its high momentum so uh, this would be the area where we can enter a short trade stop loss would be above these highs and target would be this area this would be a nice one to almost uh, 3.8 risk to reward rate so this would be the scenario that can happen for the euro usd in coming days uh, but we need to see some confirmation candles there uh, we need to see some kind of a bearish rejection candle uh, at this area uh, in order to enter short trades let's have a look on the uh, gbb us dollar so we are on this chart gbb usd usd on the four hour chart so here uh, we have uh, this trading scenario uh, this is also toward the downside we are looking for the sell trade at the trend is toward the downside as we can see that market is making lower lows and lower highs uh, and this is the current lower low and uh, market is um, trying to find another lower high so this area which is right around 1.3797 uh, area and this area this red zone so this is the area in which i'm looking for some selling opportunity so what i am waiting for is a break below this area a retest and continuation toward the downside at this area so this would be the scenario that i would be looking so i will enter short trade here at this area stop loss would be uh, above uh, this and uh, target would be these lows and uh, what I am waiting for is a uh, 4 hour candle close below this area a retest and continuation toward the downside so this would be the area uh, the current scenario that can happen for the uh, GBB US dollar so let's have a look on some of the other currencies so here we are on the uh, for our chart of Australian dollar USD as we can see and the momentum as the trend is toward the downside on the uh, four hour time frame as well as on the daily time frame so we are making these lower highs and lower lows uh, these lows and these lower highs we have this low and we made a this high so I am anticipating a move toward this area uh, let's have a look on the shorter time frame uh, so I'm on the one hour time frame as we can see that we have a uh, resistance area this uh, and this uh, triple top here and then we uh, came, get a break below and came back to retest 
so i am anticipating a bearish move towards this area uh, right around 0.73 to 0 mark so yeah so this is the uh, current scenario for the australian us dollar this green area will act as a uh, support for the australian dollar and we could see uh, the australian dollar uh, moving uh, around this area uh, and as long as it is above this green area uh, I won't be taking any trade I would be waiting for this scenario this break below and continuation toward the downside and other scenario that is possible for the Australian USD is a move toward this area uh, which is around 0 0.7420 and continuation toward downside so we will see how this thing plays out so I would recommend um, um, possibly looking for short entries here at this area and target would be this area so let's have a look on the Kiwi dollar uh, so um, we are on the 4 hour time frame on NZD US dollar so as we can see here is the trend is uh, toward the downside uh, we can see that market is making lower lows and lower highs uh, and we are recently started to move in this downside pattern corrective pattern so uh, for me the New Zealand dollar is in the range bound area so I would see this type of move here so any trade would be uh, taken only after the break below or above this area so and the most possible scenario would be break below this area and continuation toward the downside so this is what i'm looking for is let me just uh, mark this thing like this yep. so uh, i'm i'm looking for this scenario so we'll see if it is able to break below this area then i'll be looking for short end trades so let's have a look on um, the us dollar canadian dollar we are on the four hour time frame on usd cad uh, so as we can see here is market is moving in this upside channel uh, it is having support on this uh, trend line and also uh, it bounce off of toward the upside uh, from this uh, demand area so but right now it is uh, intacting with this resistance area so the best scenario as the trend is toward the upside uh, let me just mark this thing trend is toward the upside so looking for only buy trades currently having resistance at this area so the possible scenario would be a break above retest and continuation toward the upside so this is the area 1.26081 one area that it needs to break to the upside and continue its bullish momentum if we don't see a break toward the upside I will be looking for some uh, continuation here at this zone target would be this area so uh, this is the uh, USD Canadian on the 4 hour chart let's have a look on uh, dollar Swiss what is it, what it is doing right now uh, so recently uh, in the past we was in a this huge downside trend but as of had announced here that they're gonna increase the interest rate for US dollar we see some spikes toward the upside for this US dollar and this caused the whole momentum to shift toward the downside but right now uh, we are moving in this range bound area this uh, upper uh, red area is a resistance and these two areas will act as a support as long as we are in this range bound area I would recommend uh, and to looking for bullish opportunities uh, on this zone target would be these high and looking for short entries on this resistance area but uh, if we get a break above this area this area uh, we get a break above retest then we would see uh, US dollar uh, Swiss franc moving toward the upside so let's see how this thing plays out uh, in the coming days um, let's have a look on one more pair this is euro aussie and uh, actually we shared this uh, trade idea 
uh, in our community uh, so this was a nice trend continuation trade uh, that we are in right now um, so the analysis was quite simple we was in this upside uh, support trend line support let me just mark this thing for you uh, line Oh, go just draw. Yes, so this was a trend line support here area, which is confluenced by this resistance, then became a support. So we entered a buy here. Stop loss was below this area, and target was above uh, at this zone. So yeah, so we are in this trade right now. Let me show you um, um, on the MT4. Um, just a second so, yeah so here we are on the MT4 chart so as you can see that we entered a let me just mark yeah so we entered a buy here uh, it is like um, it's like a uh, 0 0.40 buy here and uh, this thing is going towards the upside so I just um, uh, made my stop close towards the break even point and let this thing run so this is the final target uh, for now let's see how this thing plays out so yeah so backing coming back toward the uh, trading view so these are the current outlook for me uh, for the incoming week uh, let us know in the comment section if you go any question if you 